hear nobody coming through them church doors. <laughs> Mighty quiet bunch y'all are. Mighty quiet. Quietest church my side say. Yes, indeed. Sneaked on up in here just as quiet. Caught me sitting here putting my Sunday school lesson together for Sunday morning. Meditating back on my life. Oh, my goodness. Pardon my poorly manners. Didn't even tell you who I was. Mary's the name. Mary Bateman Clark. Mary Bateman Clark, wife of Brother Samuel. Me and my husband Samuel, part of the beginnings of this here church. The Bethel A.M.E. Church of Vincennes, Indiana, that's where y'all are. For me, there was the pleasure of knowing that not only was all of this history a part of our lives and part of our history, but that we had the power to, uh, to bring that history to life today. It's about pride and dignity. One reason I won't go and be no slave, no slave, no kind of way whatsoever. People ain't supposed to own and sell other peoples like so much cattle and such. I grew up in a household with a father who left the Knox County area and never went back. So we only had stories from him about life in Vincennes and family in Vincennes, and he, he did grow up there. So did his father, and so did his father's father, and so did his father's father's father. So down through the line was passed this story about a matriarch of the family who was this feisty woman who filed a lawsuit, and that was all I knew about her. Didn't really know anything more. I knew she was a clerk. I knew her name was May or Mary or something like that. And that was the start of what, what would become 30 years of research. Uh, my grandmother, my father's mother, she would tell some stories, too, about family and life in Vincennes, and it just piqued my interest. My mother would tell stories that she had heard from my father, and my father would fill in. So that sent me on a journey of looking into records to find out more about them. And it was just such a really exciting journey because it was like a big, huge puzzle, the biggest one you've ever seen. I finally went to Vincennes probably in the early 1980s and got to meet people there. Uh, one of them was the son of my grandfather's brother. Donald Smith is his name, and Donald Smith had grown up in Vincennes, and he knew the, some of the stories too. And he directed me to some of the resources there. Eunice met Richard Day who would prove to be a very valuable resource. I'm very interested in these two. Uh, because she was Today, the they're getting together again. It was a, it's just amazing that Ethel and Eunice have been able to trace the, their roots all the way back to Mary Clark, and that they've been able to make that connection is just a, a story that's worth telling. Well, Eunice came to me, and she, we sat down and talked about all of this history and all of this work she had done over the 30 years. And as she presented the material to me, being a lover of theater, I said, yes, yes, this is something I can tie into and let it come to life on the stage for people. And that meant so much to me to be able to do that uh, for a relative 